parties to a bill of exchange. Now, while we have defined and discussed a bill of exchange, let us be very clear on the parties to a bill of exchange. It gets a little confusing as to who is a drawer, who is the acceptor, who is a drawee, who is a payer, who is a payee, etc., etc., etc. The drawer, X has made the bill. He writes the bill. He draws the bill. The person who draws is a drawer. The person who makes is the maker. So in our example where X sold the goods, X is the drawer. Who is the drawer? Uh, the person who draws the bill, who makes the bill. And who is a drawee? The person on whom it is made is the drawee. Who is a payer? The person who pays is a payer. The person to whom payment is made is the pay. So in this example, in our example where X has sold goods to Y. So in our example where X has sold goods to Y. X has made, X has made, drawn the bill of exchange. The person who draws is the drawer. The person on whom it is drawn is the drawee. So he has made, X has made, he is the maker, he is the drawer of the bill of exchange. In a bill of exchange, it is the seller, the seller, the person who has to get the money, he is the person who makes the bill. That's why he is the seller. X is the creditor. X is a person who has sold the goods in wise books. In wise books, X is shown as a creditor. What is the accounting entry that Y passes in its books? He says, purchase account debit to X. X is a creditor in wise books. Similarly, in the books of X, what is the entry? X has made a sale and he says Y account debit to sales. So Y is a debtor in the books of X while X is a creditor in the books of Y. So in a bill of exchange, the person who makes the bill, the drawer, the maker is nobody but the seller, the creditor. So who is the drawee? The person on whom the bill is made, that is Y. Y is the drawee. He is called the drawee, the person on whom the bill is drawn. He is also called the acceptor. Without his acceptance, the bill is not a valid bill of exchange. He signs and accepts, agrees to make the payment on the particular day. He is the acceptor. He is the debtor. He is the person who is buying the goods. Y's account is the debtor in the books of X. He is the person who has to pay. The person who has to pay is called the payer. Payer. The person who receives the payment is called the payee. He is a payer and he is the buyer. Now we have mentioned a payee separately here because in the bill of exchange, in the specimen that we saw, we saw that three months from now, pay Sohan or order and it was made by Sohan. But it is quite possible that Sohan says, instead of saying pay Sohan, he may say pay X or pay Y or pay Z. So in a bill of exchange, it is not necessary that the drawer is the person who will get money. He may instruct, he may instruct the person on whom the bill is drawn to make payment to anybody else. So there are actually three parties to a bill of exchange. One is the maker, the drawer. Two is the drawee or the acceptor who accepts the bill on whom the bill is drawn. He is the payer and the payee that is the person who will receive the payment may be a third person. So on the bill X might say three months from now pay Z or order rupees of or amount of rupees 20,000. In that, that case, we have three people, X, the maker, the drawer, X was the person who sold the goods, the seller, the creditor. Next, it is drawn on Y. Because it is drawn on Y, Y is called the drawee. 
he is the acceptor of the bill he is the person who has bought the goods and is the debtor he is the buyer he is also the person who will have to make payment the person who has to make payment he is the payer he is a payer and though it is quite possible that the payee and the drawer are one and same in a bill of exchange there is a chance that the payee is a different person say z in this particular case so you have three parties to a bill of exchange once this bill of exchange is made it is possible that mr x transfers this endorses this to somebody else if x endorses x is called the endorser the person to whom it is endorsed is called the endorsee is called the endorsee so if x has made a bill asking y to pay x 3 months from now we have a situation where x is the drawer y is the drawee and x is also happens to be the payee the person who will receive the payment and that in this example that i have just narrated you have only two parties to the bill of exchange now it is possible that after the bill of exchange is made x transfers this bill to z this is called endorsement so x is the endorser who is transferring the bill to z z is the endorsee so the parties to a bill of exchange could be three the drawer who is the maker of the bill who was the person who sold the goods and is therefore the creditor the bill is drawn on y who is the drawee he is the one who accepts the bill he is the one who has bought the goods he is the debtor he is the one who has to make the payment he is the payer it is possible that the payee is a different person since a bill can be made payable to another person not necessarily the person who is making the bill so there could be a third person called the payee after a bill of exchange is made if it is transferred or endorsed to somebody else that's an act of endorsement the person to whom it is endorsed is called the endorsee let us look at a specimen of a bill where we have a drawer a drawee and a payee three different paper this is the same format which has been made by sohan sohan is the drawer the maker he is the person who sold the goods he is the creditor so sohan made the bill it was accepted by mohan since the bill was drawn on mohan mohan is the drawee mohan is the person who will make the payment since he will make the payment he will be the also the payer he is the person who bought the goods he is the buyer he is the debtor he has to make the payment he is the payer now what is different in this specimen is that what does the bill say the bill is dated it's an amount of rupees 1 lakh it says 3 months after pay messrs ram lal and sons or order the sum of rupees 1 lakh so the payment is being made to ram lal and sons ram lal and sons is the pay now we have three parties one is sohan the person who made the bill the maker of the bill or the drawer of the bill it was accepted and it was drawn on mohan mohan is the person who will make the payment but whom will he make the payment to he will make the payment to ram lal and sons so ram lal and sons is the payee who is a payee the person who will receive the money is the payee the person who will make the payment is the payer so in this is an instance of a bill of exchange where you have three parties to the bill of exchange the drawer is different the drawee is different and the payee is different